What's up y'all, Joey and Zane here. And if you're seeing me, you know that Mandy and I are participating in the historic, I feel like, hashtag share the mic now campaign. It has been extraordinary. And that's the reason why people like me, a cisgender black woman from the South, now living in LA, has partnered up with Mandy, who's a white woman. Um, and we are changing platforms. I'm in her space though, because there's a particular message that's on my heart and she knows it. She and I talked and we both recognized that this is a moment in time where we're looking for yes people. And for Mandy, I know that she recognized there was a yes in her spirit that was saying, I'm ready to interrogate and challenge the way power and privilege shows up in my life every day. For me, as a black woman, I'm ready to interrogate the way that I am taking in too much of the internalized oppression that's been offered to my people. The smog that Dr. Beverly Tatum talks about that we breathe in and we breathe out. No longer do I want that. I'm looking for other yes people, and I know that you're out there. Mandy and I know that you're out there. We need yes people who do know that now is absolutely the time. We can't let generations to come fall victim to our neglect. We're fighting apathy. We're fighting complacency. We're fighting structural, institutional, <sighs> systemic racism that's so insidious. It's the kind that shows up in the boardroom where I inhabit and tells me that there's only space for one of me. Or in a place like where Mandy works, telling her that there's only certain roles that certain people should play. We're done with that, y'all, right? If you're somebody who knows right now there's a yes in your spirit, no matter how you identify, socially, what privilege you carry, what disadvantage you are working against, but if you know now is the time, I invite you to consider what your purposeful protest will look like. How will you stay in this for the long haul? How are you gonna care for yourself on the path to collective liberation? There's one exercise I offer to you and one that's just completely touched my heart. Other day I saw a picture of young Jovi, so young little me, and I was filled with so much joy. I mean, the picture, my cheeks were wide. I had like this, just this dream of impossibility on my face. I was just full with, with hope. I felt safe. And I recognized there's actually a difference from that young Jovi and how I am experiencing life right now. I felt anything but safe in my skin. And I had to say to myself, what am I gonna do to still protect her? What will I do to protect her dreams? So I invite all of you to an exercise where you're writing a letter to your younger self. And that younger self, you could be when you're four, you're five, whenever it was before you were socialized to think that the lie of white supremacy is true, no matter how you look. I want you to write a letter to your younger self telling your younger self who you are in this moment. Who will you be? Who will you be in this moment? When we're facing a global pandemic, when we're finally confronting racism all over this world, tell your younger self, who you've grown up to be and what your commitments are. And then I double dog dare you to share that with somebody else who will lovingly hold you accountable to make that yes that's in your spirit now a lifelong purposeful protest. This is our moment, y'all. Let's go. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. No, say yes. Say hell yes. Say yes.